Hi guys, uh, welcome to our first video blog. Um, I'm going to be making several of these throughout the season. Um, I think it might be a little easier than uh, the traditional emails that we've been doing. Um, through all the writing, I think that maybe I'll be able to show a few different things with the use of video through this uh, through these video blogs. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate each of the coaches for for selecting their teams. I think the trial process went very well and very smoothly, and I think the, the a lot of hard work went into it on behalf of all the coaching staff. So, I, I want to congratulate you on that. And uh, it seems that every team is off to a great start so far. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to address uh, as we get going on these video blogs. The first thing was uh, drill draw. Um, I know many of you have uh, experience using this in the years past and some uh, some new coaches may have uh, started using this already. Um, just one thing that I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of was that uh, we still do have that remote bank that we started last year and I've been updating the bank uh, as we went and what that does it gives the coaches a good idea of um, of, uh, of what they can offer for drills and uh, and how to use it and to really make it make practice planning a little more easier and uh, and a little more uh, better for time okay when you're in the drill draw screen obviously this is the main screen for those that have uh, used it before you're either going to be one in in drill editing mode or practice mode those are really the only two modes that you really want to uh, use um, so let's say we want to plan a practice when we go into open or actually let's start with a new one we'll plan a new one we'll pick a template and then we want to add a drill in okay so it's a green plus button let's say insert a drill and then this would be the screen where you're, this is your local bank this is my local bank with all the drills and categories I have uh, the top left corner remote bank okay I'm in uh, I'm already uh, in this AMHA bank but if, if you're not uh, your, your code should be linked to it so just press connect and it should come up automatically and just double click on that and then you're all set okay so this bank here uh, I've broken it down to one-on-ones, two-on-ones, some defensive zone stuff, uh, some goaltending stuff, which which is great for coaches to use, um, some special teams, some small area game stuff, which I think is fantastic. That I think we should all use those at least once a practice. And then there's some warm-ups. Um, the one area that I really want to stress is skills. I think this is something that we all really need to do as coaching staffs for minor hockey. You should take probably two or three of these every single practice and try to do them. And if, and if you're doing the same ones every practice, that's fine. It's all about repetitions. So let's say we wanted to have a skating circles one in there. We would insert that drill in, and that's in your practice. And you can build practices like that as you go. Okay. If you want to save a practice, you give the plan a title, and then you've saved it. And then in the export function, you can PDF it. And what that does, you're able to save it to your hard drive and send it to your send it to the rest of the staff or the coaches or really whoever you want to do um, with. So I think that's something that uh, we can really use. So we, let's make sure we, we try to get as many skills as, as drills in as possible. The more repetitions, um, the less game situation stuff off the bat, and uh, it would be a lot better, uh, more beneficial in terms of long-term development for minor hockey athletes. Okay, another uh, area I want to touch on today is development weekend. I think this is a great chance for um, for all the coaches to get together and uh, and do some do some uh, things that we can really work on to help with our development process here in AMHA. I think we've taken some great strides in the last couple of years, and I think that we can uh, even build on um, some more. I think our coaches are fantastic, and the time they put in is uh, is second to none. So um, we're really looking forward to a good weekend on development weekend. It is the weekend of uh, Saturday, November first. That would be the day that we're doing. Um, I can bring up the schedule here, <clears throat> and this is something that we can go over quickly. Uh, 8.30, let's start about 8.30, and we'll have some refreshments uh, provided. Um, at, for, at 8.45 to 9.30, uh, we're having Laura Swim come in. Laura is a, I'll bring up her webpage here. She is a uh, personal friend of mine. She's a registered holistic nutrition consultant, and last two years she's been working with hockey teams in specific, uh, specifically. And what... Um, what she's been doing with whether it's junior teams or major midget teams and she's been basically giving them ideas on how to take care of themselves nutritionally um, so the importance of proper nutrition in terms of hockey and minor hockey athletes is, is something that Laura will cover and she'll also be going into the benefits of stretching and yoga she's a yo uh, registered yoga instructor as well and she's kind of tailored her, her uh, her stride to help out on the uh, the athletic side as well. Um, she does yoga with, like I said, junior teams, some major midget teams, and not only yoga, um, but also some different uh, stretching uh, methods that can help um, minor hockey teams, whether it's novice or whether it's all the way up to midget. So I think that's a great uh, asset for Laura to come in and help. Uh, we'll do a quick break, and then we're really excited to have uh, Jack Hardigan come in. 
Jack has been uh, has been the Hockey Nova Scotia goalie goaltender development uh, professional for the last probably two years, and he's been uh, working in a couple minor hockey systems up in uh, up in the Halifax region for a little while now. He's fantastic, another good friend of mine. Uh, done lots of uh, Hockey Nova Scotia camps with him. Um, he played some pro over in Europe, so he definitely has a great view on the position. Um, he's very very original when he comes up with his drills, but he's also he doesn't stray too far. He doesn't try to try to go too far. Okay, you can see some of his drills here. This is actually Blade Man Dixon um, from Antigonish. He's worked with Jack quite a bit. Um, so we're excited to have Jack come up. He's going to do an hour of an off-ice session. Uh, just a lot of simple goaltender uh, development terms, whether it's the terminology, whether it's some drills, different things we can learn as coaches. And then we're also going to go on the ice for an hour, and he's going to do some things as well. We'll have some Santa Fe X-Men help, whether it's demoing or helping and doing different things. But we're definitely looking forward for Jack to come out and help um, bring the schedule back up. The last couple of years we've done this pregame preparation that we thought felt uh, worked really well with we'll going in the boardroom or conference room, whatever it may be, and we'll uh, Brad and Dave and and uh, we'll be able to give a little bit of a synopsis on the game we're playing that night. Uh, tickets will be provided for the game for all AMHA staff, and then we'll have a game against the University of Moncton that night. Um, and we're hoping it to be a, we're hoping for a great game that night. So uh, we're really excited about it. We're hoping that all the AMHA coaches can come out. If you can come out, please do. Um, bring all the staff you're working with, uh, head coach, assistant coaches, trainers, managers, if you like. And the more we bring awareness to uh, some different things that we're trying to talk about, I think the better we'll be. One last thing I wanted to mention and recognize was uh, this past weekend over Thanksgiving weekend, the Atlantic Challenge Cup uh, went on in, in Moncton, New Brunswick. And what that is, it's an Atlantic Canadian Championship of, uh, of regional and provincial, uh, sorry, provincial uh, hockey teams. Um, there's four four levels of ages. There's the male under 14, male under 15, uh, female under 15, and female under 18. Uh, each province um, puts in uh, a team at each level. And it's, uh, it's, it's a long process for an evaluation. Uh, it starts in April um, and it goes right through. There's a summer camp and then it ends up being the team selected to play in this tournament. And we were very fortunate enough to have seven players from the Antigonish Minor Hockey Association representing their province at that tournament. Uh, you see the picture here, it's on our, it's on our association website. Uh, we had two players at the under 14 level for male, Jake Stewart and Sean Stewart. Uh, Ryan McClellan and Jacob Hudson represented Nova Scotia at the male under 15 level. Ella McLean and Josie Chisholm were on the female under 15 level. And Brian McEachern, a former Bulldog who is now playing at Ontario Hockey Academy, uh, played with the under, fifth, sorry, the under 18 female team. I think that's a fantastic achievement for our association, having seven kids uh, represent our association um, provincially and on the Atlantic Canadian level. Uh, I also like to recognize uh, we had a couple captains as well. Jake Stewart and, and Josie Chisholm were the captains of their teams, and Sean Stewart and Jacob Hudson were the assistant captains. So having four of the seven wear a letter in a leadership role really says something about the leadership and the character that's coming out of this association. Okay, so that's it for our first video blog. Um, this one I just wanted to kind of uh, start off on a little bit of a, a demo and see how we're going to be doing this for the rest of the season. Um, I'm really excited about this. I think we can uh, share a lot of great ideas and, and show some decent videos and, um, and bring some different approaches to how we, how we plan this season. Um, I really uh, recommend that everyone, um, if they haven't done so already, to, to complete their preseason um, assessment of their team and preseason plan. <clears throat> and then when we get to the December point, the halfway point, we'll do the midseason report as well. Okay, so I wish everyone uh, best of luck. Uh, we'll be starting, um, if you haven't uh, already, uh, see me on the ice with your team. I'll definitely be getting out very soon. We'll be bringing some ex-women and some ex-men players to respect the teams as uh, our mentorship program, which we're really excited about. Uh, we'll be able to have some players on the ice to help out from time to time. And, uh, and also, we're we'll, uh, really looking forward to our development weekend. And um, so thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you around the rink.